inside and back up again this time we're in Keradigion and if you've seen our channel lately we've done a poll on the community section of the channel asking you the viewer where you want us to go next and wood, a woodland camp just shaded it so that's hopefully what we're going to do today and the place where we're going to is they've got a boffy there called the Moyle Prescott boffy so hopefully we're going to head in that direction hopefully find somewhere to camp in the woods tonight and maybe show you around the boffy as well do you know where we're going? <laughs> nope we've come to this like a a bit of a detour going right we going are we? I don't know there's a path that way is there? So, yeah so that's the first car we've seen in about 40 minutes. Let's go that way, is it, and see. There's a couple of signs up here, see what it says in them signs, yeah. is it? I'm sure it's this way, Mark. Yeah. I'm sure it's this way. Yeah. I'm sure it's this way. We just come to this uh, this junction. You can either go left, left over there, straight ahead over there. All right, a bear. So, well, there's, there's a boffy there. Yeah, there's a boffy. Yeah. We are here, and there looks like. I'm thinking if we follow that white line all the way up, we'll end up by the boffy. So, we're thinking going straight over there then. Up there. And turn bear right. Branching right. right. Bear right. But it won't look, we can go that way and have a look, can we? Yeah, it don't matter, like. I've never been there before. And like, you watch videos on YouTube. No one... Pe people go there, but you don't know the exact route. Yeah. So... Let's head that way then, is it? We're just um, winging it a bit, aren't we? Yeah, let's go this way then. While I'm filming, guys, I've got a new pair of boots. Um, I've had my last boots, my Berghaus GTX. Or Hillwalker GTX, I think they're called. I've had those for two years, but they're starting to leak now, so I bought a new pair of Scarpa SL Active Bordeaux, I think they're called. And uh, not the cheapest pair of boots I've ever bought. I got these cheaper than some other places, and I, I paid £250 for them, but. Um, the way I look at it, if they last me um, three years, I'll be happy. So, as long as it don't leak. I've actually had them on about half an hour and they're really comfortable. So, I'm not sure what's up with blisters later on, but yeah, so far, so good. They feel really comfortable, strong, and they uh, a lot of support on the angle, so I'll let you know when we get to the destination if uh, my feet are rubbing or whatever. So, yeah, so we got on with them. Well, we said we we're gonna go straight on, we've just gone up there and we turned around again because it doesn't look, uh, it don't feel like it's, it's the right way, does it? You know, that white line on the map that just de depicts the edge of the forest line. See? That does. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There was no path or nothing, so... Well, I think we just better off staying stick to the path. And when we come to that junction, we're going to turn right. And straight up there, I think. Uh... Let's 
God's weather's taking a turn for the worst. We've got driver rain coming from behind us. And we've got to quickly put the wet weather gear on because uh, it's getting bloody soaked. We've been looking at the map now and we should have taken a trail down that area down there. Um, we've gone totally the wrong way. But we're heading in the right direction, but we should have gone follow the green path on the map down that side. So uh, we'll see how uh, I'll see where this way takes us. Up by there it was a bit it was a dead end, which we saw on the map. So this clown over here said, oh, I know which way I'm going, I've seen all the videos. Right, so the road. You can see it just down there, and it winds around. So like I said before, we should come from that direction. So now, luckily... We've got to work for the tire tracks. Luckily, they've cut all these trees down. Well, not for the trees. And the environment is not good, like, but... At least there's tire tracks, we can actually walk down and meet up with the road. So, we don't do anything easy, me and him, I tell you no. Sometimes we think we know where we're going, we haven't got a clue. <laughs> and this is an epic fail, this is, so far. Yeah, but these trips sometimes end the best with it, don't you? Who told you that? You know, we end up too. No, soon you know. Well, we haven't seen anyone yet, and I wonder why. <laughs> There's no one else mad enough. <laughs> oh, well, there's one bonus. Some cracking views up here. The forestry. There's Mark there, hacking his way down. <laughs> so whoever's watching this video, and you want to get to the Moyle Pris guy Bothy, keep watching. And then when you, if you decide to come here, make sure you don't do what we do. And go the totally wrong way, because this is diabolical, this is. So yeah, we've got to walk through all this nonsense to get down to some sort of road, which is only down by there. So a little lesson for, for us in the future, make sure we plan our route properly, because this is a joke. So don't do what we did. My poor boots look. I want to test them out, but not this extreme for the first time. Bloody hell. Look at it. Go try walk around here and go down this bloody bank. And it looks worse. I mean, sorry, it is worse than what it looks. Sorry, did I put on my walking poles? Oh, yeah, I'm after with it, yeah. It took you so long. Well, let's get my phone out. Right, we're well, back on the terra firma. <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? No. The joke. Just think it's part of the adventure. I'd rather walk on the road than walk through all that shit, like, you know? Bloody hell. Well, we go wrong there now. And we should be back on track. I'd say what, we must have put up about a half hour, 45 minutes on our trip, like. No, I reckon, if anything, we've done, we've done a bit of a shortcut there. What do you reckon? Yeah. You look at in my boots, Mark. Well, you'll give them a good test and if nothing else, like. So, yeah. Stick with me together. So, I'll never go camping with him again, he's an idiot. Twin Peaks. Maybe twin peak. Maybe single peak the way I'm going like. I'm not coming that way. This way. So the way he's talking, he knows where he's going. Yeah, I've got a clue. Hey, stick with me, you'll get there. Well, 11 o'clock tonight, is it? 
Right folks, just a bit of an update. We are going this way. And I think we walk so far down and we can drop down and follow the main path. And there's a path then that should hopefully take us to the Boffy or roundabout. Yeah, it feels like we're back on track now. Done a bit of a boo-boo back there, I just... It's my fault, I should have researched it a bit better. But you watch these YouTube videos of people going there and you don't really see where they're going. Which is a bit... Which is a bit of a pain, like... But anyway, we'll get there. We always do. It's absolutely pissing down. But one good thing is, our coats are having a bit of a testing. We've never seen this much rain. Ah. Soaked. But the, the water hasn't come through yet, so that's a good sign. Still following the road around. And I think we're three quarters of the way there now, so it's not too bad. Although he haven't stopped moaning. Do I ever? Moaning, git. You always bring us up this way there. <laughs> <laughs> loving it, man. Loving life. Not my fault, is it? Can't control the weather. That's what it's all about, people. Awesome. Right, the road ends there. And the OS map is telling us to come this way. Let's pan around. Some sort of path going down. So we're going to follow this round down now and then according to the OS map we keep going down and then we come to a footpath apparently and then we sort of branch left and it's over that way so let's see if that rings true just been overtaken by a load of Land Rovers and 4x4 vehicles I'm gonna be nuts. Tell you why that is rough. No idea of telling how deep that is. But those vehicles just went straight through it like it was nothing. And our best bet is to follow this. It's not the best, like, but. I ain't walking through there, that's for sure. Tell you what, this is insane. You just got all these guys. Driving through the river. To get over there, it's mad. Here he comes. Right, Bobby's over there. And we gotta cross this. So I got spare clothes. Sorry. Not too bad, is it? We are absolutely drenched. Hey, Simon. What? Soaked. Oh, yeah. Soaked about carving climbs, yeah. If I turn the camera on, you can just see the boffy in the 
middle of the trees there. So we're going to go there now, hopefully dry off for a bit. Have a coffee. And then hopefully pitch a tent somewhere. That's the plan anyway. There she is guys. My old press guy, Bobby. And that is a sight for sore eyes. Moyle Press guy at the NBA. Have a look, is it? Right then, show you around the barfy. Got a dartboard. Fortunately, no darts. Bit of firewood scattered around on the floor. And come into the main living area. Got your wood burner, a couple of sleeping platforms. Have a look at the shelf. You've got a summer's half a bottle of whiskey here, a couple of adventure foods, scrambled egg, vegetable chili. They've also left a couple of cans of beer. There's even some eye proofing. Nice body, this, isn't it? Yeah, clean. Having a sit down a minute, folks. And someone's kindly left us a couple of cans of beer. It's called Beaver Town Session IPA. So you abandon the coffee, just having a couple of cans of this a minute. Anyway, thanks. Cheers. Oh, that's nice size. I'll give that a, like 8.5 out of 10. Nice. Just want to give a shout out to another YouTuber. His name's Adam Hamlet. And his YouTube channel is Adam Intwild. What I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description below the video. And I just want to thank him for this Osprey waterproof rain cover. He sold that to me for 10 quid, including postage. Absolute bargain, and it was well needed today. And the reason I bought it was because. When I bought this Osprey Exos 48 pack, it doesn't come with a rain cover, so that's the reason I bought this. And a heads up to anyone that's looking to buy one of these, just be mindful it doesn't come with a rain cover, so you're going to have to buy your own. Just a bit of an update on the boots. Brand new today, first time I've worn them. Well, I'll tell you something now. I couldn't have tested these in worse conditions, like, worse, worse conditions, sorry. Um, they've been through the mill on this hike, and uh, my feet are bone dry. Um, so far, so good. The only um, thing, you know, I've uh, got an issue with at the moment is my right, right heel. It's been rubbing a bit, but I've been unbearable to walk. So uh, I've read, I've read. Um, some people have done reviews on these boots, and um, some people say you got to you got to break them in. Some people have worn them straight out of the box and never had an issue. But uh, yeah, my my right heel has been rubbing uh, halfway through the hike and down to the bothy. So uh, yeah, cracking boots though. Not cheap, but you pay for what you get, simple as that. Cam, cam, 
put your fire. Try and beat it. Got the jack ball going. Couple of pot noodles just to warm up. And then we're going to put the tent on. We're going to pitch the tent up now. It's not exactly a woodland, but it's the best we can do. It's got a couple of couple of trees there and we're going to put a tent up by there somewhere we kept our wood there's a boffy we can stay in but we're going to stay in a tent yeah and if I pan round there's a boffy there we can stay in but we're not we're going to stay in the tent so we're going to pitch a tent right by there see you in a bit well that's the tent uh, all pitched up again Fial Raven a Bisco too light Yep, yeah, that's home for the night. So what we're going to do now is go back in the barfy, have a couple of drinks and make some food. Look at that. Nice warm fire. Someone have to have a bag of coal here, so we put that on it. Got to get it warmed up now. Nice can of the Herefordshire fire water on the go there. Still raining. Oh, but you can't beat a buffy. Can you say? It's a bit of a, a refuge. Oh yeah, definitely. So we actually get dry. Um, After what we walk through today, bloody hell. Cook some food in here and just go in the tent then, stay there for the night. We're certainly going to do for a start, so we could quite easily just sleep over there, <clears throat> but we won't. I bet you're thinking, I would. So I'd go not there in a tent. I don't want to stay there though, I won't stay in a tent, I do. Yeah. Anyway, have a few of these, something to eat. Sit by the fire for another couple of hours and all good. Chopping a bit of firewood up here it looks a bit green to me. I don't think we're going to chop the hand off in a minute, so I'm telling you. It's a bit. Um, this is dodgy, isn't it? It's not the um, no. tightest blade I've used. Like, but. We've got a choice of two bow saws, so happy to get a lot of you Fine, fine. Ready? Timber! On the menu side, we've got sausages with an onion gravy, um, mashed potato, and garden peas. There you are, sausage and onion gravy, mashed potato and 
garden peas. And it's almost ready, almost ready. Beautiful. So there we have it then guys. That's what it looks like. Sausage mash, onion gravy, garden peas. All done. Easy to do. As long as you've got two uh, gas, two gas stoves. That's it then. All done. Yeah, we just uh, finished in the bath. We just opened the fire. Um, had a bit of a clean up. In the tent now. Um, just gone 10 o'clock. Um, still raining. Still peeing down here. Still windy. Um, it's meant to clear tomorrow morning and be dry and brighter tomorrow so well that's the forecast and uh, hopefully it is because the weather here has been horrendous anyway guys we're going to go to sleep and uh, we'll see you in the morning good night good night guys good morning everyone welcome back to the tent it's about half five now and I tell you what last night the rain I haven't heard anything like it it didn't stop until three o'clock this morning didn't get a lot of sleep, but that's how it goes in a tent, isn't it? So, yeah. Maybe see what's on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. The day, yesterday, the rain, as you probably see on the video, was absolutely horrendous, but... <laughs> we got through it, like we always do. And it didn't stop until three o'clock this morning, like I said, but yeah. I'm gonna have a look outside now and see what, what the weather's like. It's not raining, I know it's... Yeah. <coughs> it's not windy, I don't know, so... So we'll see you after we've had a coffee. Right then, time to take the tent down. Like we said last night, we're doing a woodland camp and we scoured all this forest last night in the pissing down rain I may add and we couldn't find anything suitable either the trees are too tightly compacted together or there's so much deadfall on the ground we are well you couldn't have pitched a tent anyway so you know I class that as a woodland camp there's trees around that's where the tent is so yeah all in all pretty good spot right let's get it done Right then everyone, Boffy's all closed up and we're going to make our way out of here. What we're going to do, cross that bridge, walk up through the woods and I know that'll end up on a fire road and then we're just going to follow the fire road all the way back to the car and hopefully that'll be an easier and quicker route than the one I chose coming here. So let's see how this pans out. <laughs> Ooh, 
Duty went. Bloody hell. This is unreal, this. Look at this. These woods are nuts. Unreal. Okay, let's go that way. There is light at the end of the tunnel, folks. I'm not far from the road now. And that's our ticket out of here. Whew. Right, back on the road now. And we're going that way. Right, let's go. Come on, people. Any need of this? In the bag it goes. Back of the car now. That took us one hour, 20 minutes to walk from the Boffy to here. And yesterday took us like three hours to get there, so that'll have a difference. I don't know what way we went, but it wasn't the right one. <laughs> it was a good fan, <laughs> It was good, like, anyway. Thanks for watching uh, this one. And we'll see you again. Bye for now. Cheers.